climax, a dash for the finishing line, the showpiece final. Welcome to our live coverage on quarter-final day. It is... So off we go then. Sao Paulo so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Looks to thread it through. Diego Tardelli! Goal! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. And that's that. Sao Paulo have been held at home. Your reflection. This one, perhaps the most intriguing of the four quarterfinal ties. It contains all of the right ingredients. The scoreline, the opponents are perfectly matched. The home crowd truly up for it. You can hear that, you can see that. They've created an atmosphere and ambience which is intimidating and sets the hairs on the back of your neck on edge. Taken off, his energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Tato! Oh, it's there! And they have an aggregate lead! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Welcome to our live coverage on quarter-final day. It is good to have you with us. And you can see that the atmosphere is building very nicely. Super noise, grand level of expectation, and that is only rising as we head towards kickoff time. Fagner has a goal! Quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? <laughs> On the road, but they have a lead to cling to. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Thank you so much for joining us for part two of our coverage of this tie between two teams aspiring to make the semi-finals. As is so often the case with games at this level, things are right on the edge. The smallest of margins will be telling. The hosts have to win, having 
failed in their plan at least to contain their opponents during the first meeting. They will though have the backing of the crowd here at the very least. A fiery encounter is in store. Here's Wagner Love, and the weighted pass, he's got options out wide. He's good for it! Oh, it's got in! Corinthians take the lead! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. And the shot! And yes, it's there! Two up now, and they are cruising. Corinthians are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. That's it, they are out. Beaten in the first leg, beaten again in the second. There is little room for argument. They were second best. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Look, it's the end of an adventure that will have taught them a great... So we're down to the last eight. The competition you sense rapidly heading towards its big climax. A dash for the finishing line, the showpiece final. Welcome to our live coverage on quarter-final day. It is good to have you with us. And you can see that the atmosphere is building very nicely. Super noise, grand level of expectation, and that is only rising as we head towards kickoff side. The Santos faithful here giving it everything. It gets it back. Ganso. Looking to... He's had a goal! He's delivered all right! And Fluminense take the lead! Fluminense are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. In it. And it's played forward. Goes for goal. He scored. Two up and threatening to pull clear. Well, that always looked the likely outcome. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. George. Santos have it back and they can go again. Gonzalo has a hit! And shoots! And yes, it's there! Late drama, late goal! This will be one frantic ending! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. I doubt he'll score too many which come easier than that, Peter, but just look at his movement. He knew instinctively that the key...
Welcome to what is looking like a really intriguing quarter-final second leg. It's, of course, the decisive game. It has been very, very close up to now. The first leg result sets us up a truly enthralling encounter. The hosts may not need to win, but their lead is a fragile one against opponents who have little choice, but truly to go for it. This could be tight to the very, very end. So we look out here at the stands of the... Oh, real chance! Oh, he's brought him down, and it is a penalty. And that is a huge moment in the context of the game. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Dispatched with certainty. And it only took a little drop of the shoulder to send the keeper completely the wrong way. Didn't he take it well? Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Ganso. Finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. He's left his man. Fine run and he's happy. He's had a shot! Oh, it's gone in! We're back where we started. It's level on aggregates. That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fill that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Goes for goal! And in it goes! They have edged ahead overall! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Observers are agreed on this. It is the point where the competition gets really serious. Top teams now fielding their best available lineups in front of big, big crowds. A lot of noise, great expectation, and a sense that the possibility of silverware is at hand. This is a big chance. Start of another 45 minutes. Palmeiras 
playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. It's the through ball. Chance! And he's done it! And that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They were obviously hoping for an early second half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic now. That really was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. You know, Peter, from the moment it left his foot, it looked unstoppable. That was thumped. can sense a semi-final place. Having picked up a win, albeit a narrow one in the away leg, they clearly feel that they are in a position to finish the job in front of their own loyal support. Not necessarily so, believe the visitors today. They think that they can still turn this round. After all, the lead is by no means a decisive one, at least not yet. And that is a tone evidently shared by the away supporters who are more than holding their own here. Is the S now it's Adriano. Well weighted. It's Adriano! Oh, it's gone in! We're back where we started. It's level on aggregate. One delightful ball, and the rest was simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch.